We're here today at one of the locations in France for the World War I Canadian Memorials. This memorial has over 11,285 names inscribed on the, the limestone that's around the memorial. This cemetery here that we're looking at is a cemetery equivalent to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier for us in the United States. Some of these soldiers lying in the, some of the tombstones in, in the cemetery are unknown soldiers. There is at least six different countries with the soldiers lying in this cemetery due to the First World War. As you can see here in front of us, this is some of the trenches that they've dug back up from the Battle of Vimy that the Canadians were involved in as an offensive to push the Germans back out of France. Just think, sometimes this is as close as the enemy lines were, sometimes this was allied friends. Just looking over the short ridge here that you can see in front of us, no more than 20 meters apart sometimes. Here's one of many craters that they have on Vimy Ridge Memorial Site. This crater here was one from World War I. There's a few other ones nearby and I would say probably three or four stories deep on some of them. Some of them not that deep. This is the cannon uh, taking the next picture or the next video from. Here's a view of one of the from one of the artillery cannons that they may have had here on Vimby Ridge. How the angle that you could see just from being set on top of the cannon.
So if any of you guys ever come over to uh, France or Belgium, there's here is a list of all of the places that are the Canadian cemeteries. Or memorials. Or memorials. Just think, these molehills that we might classify molehills here in this field could be ex unexploded ordinances that's still here from World War One. Yeah, that's reporting. British car.